today I'm going to be giving you a review of the MSI 970A G45 motherboard from MSI. Very decent little motherboard, going to get you by, it's going to cover your AMD. It's not a super high-end gaming motherboard, it's not a super low-end, just kind of general desktop. It's right in between and it might be exactly what you're looking for. Now, let's go directly into the discussion about this motherboard. We're going to start right here. This is for you AMD fans, obviously. Um, this is a AM3 Plus socket, so it's going to support your FX processors, your Phenom 2s, your Athlon 2s, your Semprons, etc. It's a 24 megahertz uh, hyper transport, so the front side bus is rated at 2400 megahertz. It's using the AMD 970 Northbridge and the SB950 Southbridge. Um, you do have solid caps and ferrite core chokes and all the nice hardware around here, so you probably could overclock this quite a bit without having to worry about anything exploding. Right over here, you do have um, support for four DIMMs of DDR3 memory, dual channel, up to 32 gigabytes. Um, it will support 800, 1066, 1333, 1600, 1866 natively, and then up to 2133 with overclocking, and probably then some, to be honest with you, if you kept going, probably wouldn't break. Um, as far as PCI Express slots go, you have two PCI Express X16 2.0, slots. Um, those will run at X16, X4 when you populate both. You also have two PCI Express X1 2.0 slots, as well as two standard PCI slots. As far as SATA goes, right over here, you actually have four SATA 3, um, I'm sorry, you have four SATA 2, 3 gigabit per second, and you have two SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second. So you might want to run your SSDs and your operating system off of here and your storage off of here. Um, as far as power goes, you do have a 24 pin ATX motherboard connector. Um, so just make sure you get the right power supply. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a motherboard review, but I'm assuming that nobody uses anything but 24 pin nowadays. Uh, and if any company is making motherboards that use 20 pins, um, they should be taken out back and beaten. Uh, now, let's go to the back panel. Always good stuff going on in the back panel. Uh, first thing you'll notice, you have a multi PS2. Um, so you can do keyboard and mouse on one. If you still use this, you're going out back. You're going out back. This is outdated stuff. <clears throat> do you have a COM port? Out back as well, man. Everyone's going out back today. If you use this stuff, you are just a dinosaur. Uh, this is your SPDIF optical uh, audio out. So really, really nice. Um, if you don't want to use your digital um, out. You also have the analog over here, 7.1 channel HD audio. That's actually using the uh, Realtek ALC, uh, I believe it is the 892, the ALC 892 chipset. So it's a pretty um, nice lossless HD audio chipset, 7.1 channel. Um, over here is your 10100, 1000 Ethernet. Uh, you have six USB 2.0s as well as two USB 3.0s. And that basically covers the back panel. But if you needed more than what you have on the back panel, Right over here, you have um, headers, and that's going to give you an additional uh, six USB ports off your three headers that are right there. Um, so that's really, really nice. Lots of USB connectivity as far as that goes. Um, now let's talk a little bit more um, about what is not on the motherboard or what you're going to be seeing um, as far as software goes. Now, MSI is pretty well known for their OC Genie. Um, they do have a couple softwares where... Uh, you basically self overclocks, um, but the coolest, newest thing that's coming out, obviously, at least for me, because I haven't done a motherboard review in a while, is the UEFI BIOSes. Um, that gives you a graphic user interface for your BIOS, so it's all GUI based. You get to actually see, you know, what you're doing. You can use a mouse. You don't have to be using F keys and saving, and it, you know, it always makes it more complicated. And a lot of um, new school people aren't used to that kind of old school stuff and, and they, they, they get into overclocking and they kind of get confused and they get afraid and they end up not doing it or they do it wrong because they just don't get it. And it's not really your fault, especially if you're younger. You kind of just grew up with everything being a user, a graphic interface, and now all of a sudden you're back to using F keys and saving and stuff and you, you get lost. No worries. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You do have UEFI uh, BIOS now. You also have all the MSI features that you're used to getting as far as overclocking Genie and, and um, in operating system overclocking software. It's all available inside the box um, and you do get a whole bunch of that good stuff. And um, that's basically it. Really nice motherboard. Um, impressively affordable and in it very you know, capable of doing just about anything that you want with it, uh, especially with the price you're paying. They've gotten cheaper and more efficient and more capable over time. And this is just the proof is in the pudding. Uh, the 970A uh, G45 from MSI, if you have any questions on it. You can feel free to email me and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the MSI 970A G45 motherboard, type in M452-6225 into any major search engine.